But guys, uh, just going to run through some of the features that I've added into my Link Plug and Play Looms for Lexus. Uh, this one's been modified a little bit from my standard setup, but we'll run through it. It's uh, in the testing stage at the moment, so not all the wires are wrapped up. Uh, we'll just go through a few things and we'll have a bit of a look. So we've got a um, G4 Plus Storm in this case, which is going to do the job just beautiful. I've programmed it. Um, I've loaded a base tune into that into it, which has um, been set up and runs really nice. I did a little trick where I load a second tune in, um, so we can ad ad adjust it a little bit. So there's actually two maps in there. Have to plug into the computer to uh, switch it over, but it's still pretty good. This one's got the four-wheel drive in it, so which we talk I've done another video on. We've got these uh, these couple of body plugs here. So um, customers often ask for extra oil, extra water gauges, so I've already run the wires I marked up on that plug so that's easy. In this plug uh, we've got uh, a water temp, we've got a taco which is off the igniter or, or the coil negative so it's a high level with check light. We've got uh, an oil light and in this one we've got a, a reverse light and a speedo. Now this one's going into a four wheel drive uh, it's going to have big wheels on it so I actually use the link to calibrate the electronic speedo. Saves extra boxes and that sort of stuff. Uh, over here we've got our relays and fuses. Now I've uh, I've left out the auction sensor one, just on the back of the loom, which I'll show you in a minute. Uh, we've got uh, a set of wires, so if an auction sensor is installed, it can be plugged in and powered up and then turned on into the link just to give it a little bit extra economy. Now customers specifically asked uh, on this one for a, it's going to be four wheel drive again so we've put a bypass on to the fan circuit. So on this stage it's, it's on auto so the computer takes care of it. That way I turn it off. That will mean that you'll be crossing water. Don't want uh, mud, water spashing all over the engine. And then we turn it on. You'll see the light comes on when the, when the fan's on just as a bit of a warning for the customer. And another feature on this particular one is he's got a warning light, warning buzzer. So this little fella here, it is annoying when it goes off. So if he drops oil pressure or if he gets to over a certain temperature, that little buzzer will start ringing. Very, very noisy, very, very horrible. Um, I don't think I've actually checked it and turned it on yet. We might just have a bit of a look here. Just give a moment, we'll have a look and uh, see if I can turn it on when I hit the right buttons. Right, what is this doing? Yep, that's annoying. So I put the same buzzer in for jet boats. Um, I don't put a lot of limits in for a jet boat. Because the last thing you want in the middle of a rapid is to have a rev cut. So instead I put a buzzer like that and I've also got one that's got a light on it as well. So we use those as a light and a buzzer. Right, just looking at the loom. Um, brand new Bosch style igniter. Good, two channel very easy to work with. That just needs to be mounted on a firewall on a on a on a heatsink into the vehicle and a bit of extra length so it gives some place to put it. This particular loom we've got four wheel drive wiring, which is for this particular vehicle. That was a little bit extra for the, this particular job, but the cust customer requested it. Now my loom goes through the sender, goes out to each of the injectors through out to the injector plugs. So they're all numbered, they just clip on, sit nice and low, tidy. Bosch style temp sensor, uh, that's for the water temp included in it, and I've put the factory later model plug on for the for the water temp. And then there's the, as I suggested, an extra temp gauge, so if he wants to put an aftermarket one plus an earth in there. On this one, the throttle body normally goes on the on the opposite side, the customer did ask for, uh, he's going to run a left hand snorkel. So we have, I've run the TPS wiring 
and the air temp wiring a bit longer and in the, in the idle speed control which normally sits on the front of the engine um, I've made it so it can come to the back of the engine and be tucked in neat and tidy that will allow the customer to use this loom either left or right handed gives us a bit more scope on the vehicle um, here I've been, I've been firing up the coils, I've tested them coils and we've got down here whip down to the crank sensor which I like to go through the gap there, through the back oil pressure plug is on a factory Lexus oil pressure and then I've got an extra plug now in here it's a few wires um, there's two spares for, for if you want to just put a normal aftermarket gauge I've also run one one that can go back to the computer so I can actually run the oil pressure through the computer if I wanted and uh, I can do warnings off oil pressure levels or monitor it with the likes of a dash or a laptop or when you're tuning again I've, I've allowed for that eventuality just another thing that I do um, auto speed control units a lot of people uh, don't wire up the links correctly to, to control that but what um what happens when you disconnect the link is the, the stepper should reset so we're just going to reset that here just before we finish up you see it goes all the way back and comes back ready to restart tap it on and it moves just a smidgen when you repair it up so that ensures correct idle setting so looms set up ready to go I'm going to tape it up now I've tested it I'm happy with it I'll do some final taping take a couple of photos for everyone to look at